Well, hello there. This is Rick Nielsen from Business Learning Systems and eLearning Radio. And in this episode of the Trevanis Podcast, I want to show you how to integrate a Lectora title into your blog or website. And while I've wanted to do this for a long time, just until recently, I really hadn't figured out an easy way to do it. Uh, but please note that I have tested this technique with text and graphics and audio and video so far, and it seems to work pretty well, but just be sure to do your own testing when using this method. So the concept here is simple. First of all, you just create a lector title. Second, you publish it to HTML. And then you create a WordPress page or post. And then you embed the URL of your title into that page or post using a specific HTML tag. And we'll get to that in a minute. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, I've created a lector title. And for the sake of this demonstration, I kept it simple with just some navigation buttons to different pages. Keep in mind that the height and width of your WordPress post or page area is important, so just make sure that you size your title right. And then you go ahead and publish your title as you normally would and just FTP it up to the internet, taking note of the web address, including the index.html file. Now let's move over to WordPress, and first we'll just create a page in this case, and then we're going to switch to HTML mode. And now let's reference the URL of your title, and uh, that's the index, including the index.html file, within the iframe tag, along with the height and width attributes, so that your title size is right in WordPress. And the iframe tag has been around for a long time. And while frames are passe in most web dev circles in 2012, this tag provides a simple approach to an otherwise complicated task. And if you want to get more information on the iframe tag or any other HTML tag for that matter, I'd highly recommend W3Schools. Just go ahead and Google W3Schools for what I think is about the most definitive reference on HTML on the web. And there are some attributes or settings associated with the iframe tag that have been deprecated or removed from the HTML standard in the HTML5 implementation. So, but the, but the iframe tag still remains intact. So once you're done with your WordPress page, it will look something like this. And again, be sure to thoroughly test your application of this method. But for now, it's working for me. And interactivity seems to be working as expected. So uh, in summary, create a lector title, publish your title to HTML, then create a WordPress page or post, and then embed the URL of your title in the page or post using the iframe tag. So there you have it, a Lectora title embedded in a WordPress site.